Hi, and welcome to my unexpected extended review. I hadn't planned on doing it this week because of travel, but because of the hurricane, travel got canceled. So you'll notice, by the way, that um, I have what looks like a Macintosh. This is actually like a Macintosh SE from the bad old days. Uh, cute little device. This is actually the RayQ. You'll notice it has uh, micro SD micro SD and SD uh, card slots so you can actually plug those directly in uh, it actually if you go off this is my Mac you'll notice that on my Macintosh whoop let me turn my mouse on sometimes I forget to have my mouse on so turn my mouse on I can open the Ray queue and that's those two folders are there visible from the Ray queue but basically what it is Besides the fact that it's a wannabe uh, USB-C device, right? It's actually a USB-C hub. Um, you can plug HDMI in so you can actually have a better display. And yes, I do know how to set the clock, and I will. It is not February uh, 16th, 2024. I'll set the clock and get it up and running. I have the manual. I have to do that. That's on the list. Uh, but this is a, a USB-C hub. So if we look down on the bottom here, you'll notice that there are USB connections, C and regular I guess that's C and A, and then there's also an audio out. What that does is basically gives you an additional set of USB-C and USB connections. And then on the back of the device, and I won't uh, take the power out because that'll turn, turn it off, but um, it comes with a separate power brick. Uh, and then it also comes with HDMI out port. So you can actually take the USB-C, convert it into a two outbound monitor, uh, solution so you can actually display your Mac on multiple monitors. Um, you have USB uh, connectivity so you can add to the device and then uh, as you can see from the uh, thing right here you can actually visibly grab those uh, SD cards and micro SD cards on your Macintosh directly. So it's really a very useful device. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. But I do have to say, the thing that sold me on it was the fact um, that it was a little Mac SE. That is the Mac SE or SE30. Um, you know, e the Mac SE30 even had slots right here uh, in front. If you'll recall, that's where the fan was. Uh, so you would literally have that fan right there. Uh, which I think is, is really cute. And then you've got, like I said, HDMI and USB connectivity. Um, because uh, this is uh, one of the new Macs, it does have uh, the new Lightning Plus, which is the same as uh, USB-C. So you can plug it right back into the Lightning ports on the back of the device. I have four, I think, on the back uh, of the uh, Mac. And so that allows me to literally, um, you know, connect it directly to the Mac and easily uh, via that USB-C connectivity. And then somewhere I have uh, the manual for this. I think it's actually, oh, that's not it. That's kind of scary. I hadn't planned on knocking that down. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, I've got the manual around here somewhere. So I will set the clock so that it's properly done. And of course you did get the full Anderson extended review process. Uh, so it was shaky cam. Uh, I think, I guess I've said many times, uh, shaky cam is, uh, is in fact my uh, modus operandi for uh, my extended reviews. And of course, this is my corner desk. Um, I love the corner desk. It has uh, all these nice cool drawers so I can open them up and store things in there. And it's uh, a friend of mine gave me the uh, uh, the the crooked clock. Uh, and uh, I've got two of the astrophysics um, units. Now, those are actually AR globes so you can actually use the AR program and, and uh, take a look. One is Earth, one is Moon. Uh, very cool. Uh, and then they have little stands and then of course I've got all sorts of, of writing and batteries etc. But anyway today's review is of the shaky cam reality of my reviews and of course the very cool RayQ device.